Hello, good evening, and welcome to the Hangar in Marion Local High School, where tonight on WOSN we've got a big-time non-conference volleyball matchup between the homestanding Marion Local Flyers and the visiting Crestview Knights. I'm Garrett Seawright, joined alongside Dave Bowen. We'll bring you all the action tonight. And Dave, we've got two teams trying to get off the schneid coming into tonight. Yes, uh, Garrett, great to be your wingman this evening. It's an honor and a pleasure on this fantabulous night for non-league volleyball action between the Crestview Lady Knights and the Marion Local Flyers. Both of them coming off of two, a, they're on a two-match losing streak. Well, Crestview is 14 and four overall, and Marion Locals 15 and three overall. So they are having outstanding years. But right now, both of them trying to get the ship righted. Yeah, just a little bit of unfamiliar territory for these two squads. When you mentioned those 14 wins and 15 wins for each side, Crestview, the top-ranked team in the driver's seat for the Northwest Conference title. Marion Local has fallen away from the back title race, but is still uh, a very highly ranked, highly regarded team. And coming off those two consecutive losses at the hands of Fort Lormie and St. Henry, two teams who plan on playing a role in winning who decides the state championship. So there are uh, nothing to hang your hat about about losing to the number one ranked team in Division 7 and a top ranked team in Division 6 either. It's going to be a fun one, and I expect both teams to really get after it tonight. Maya Eckstein serves it away from Marion Local to get us underway as the first swing for Crestview is Casey Gregory off a flyer and down in the Knights. Take the early 1-0 lead on the Ultimate Outdoor scoreboard. Casey Gregory has 107 kills coming into tonight's match. Make that 108, second on the team. And the Knights will start off with a 2-0 advantage after the ace from Gregory. She also leads the Lady Knights in that category. 33 on the year now, aces for Crestview, Casey Gregory. Gets it just over the top of the tape. It's received in the back row. Rachel Keeter takes the cut from Marion Local. Pushed to the wide side of the floor. Swung on by Adeline Figley. Kept alive by Marion Local. Figley will pop it up one more time as Emily Lickley sends it over to the far side. Blocked at the net. Tried to be tipped down. Crestview pops it back up. From behind the 10-foot line. Pushed over by Lickley. Keeter near side. Cuts it off the Knights and down. And Marion Local has their first point of the match. Peter picks up her 81st kill on the season. So that's what we're going to see tonight. Some real strong volleys. Both teams transitioning defense to offense as quickly as possible and looking to wham it at the opponent. Punched over by Marion Local. Lickley. Climb the ladder. Did Lily Best. Pushed it a little long, and we're square at two. Yeah, Lily Best just overcooks that one a little bit. Her elbow not on top or behind the volleyball. Didn't high point it, and it sailed on her. Flyers continue to serve. Lickley back sets into the back row for Gregory. Leaping and diving on the Flyers as Chloe Ronnebaum gets her first kill of the match. Ronnebaum second on the team in kills for Marion Local. Give her 124 now on the season. We've seen the libero for Marion Local make her presence known here in the early going, doing a nice job. Ava Unrast. Lickley, best tip silver. Kept alive to the near side, Ronnebaum. Got it off the palm of her hand. Kept alive by the Knights. And a double contact violation. Gives yeah. Marion Local the 4-2 lead. Emily Lickley, tough decision there. She wanted to go to her main hitter, Addie Figley, but Figley was on the floor, so she tried to get that back to Casey Gregory behind the 10-foot line and double hit us. Into of the back row. Lickley, quick sets Gregory just wide. Both of Earth. these teams have some lethal middle hitters. Haley McCoy cuts it just a little bit too much right there for Crestview. I was just going to say, uh, 21 instead of 12, so Haley McCoy, my apologies, is Lickley. We'll get it to Figley, and she just put too much mustard on it. Yeah, Crestview showing the adrenaline here in the early going. McCoy, Figley, and Best all have balls that have gone long. Mary Local taking advantage of it. Quickly a 6-2 lead for the Flyers as Figley tries to change it and does. Addie Figley, she picked up her 1,000th kill last week at Allen East. The main gun from the firing line for Crestview. Her counterpart, Grace Moeller, excuse me, Grace Moeller does the same for the Flyers. Josie Colwicky to serve. Evers, quick set, climb the ladder. Kept alive by Crestview. 
Unrass pass to the outside to Keeter. Off of Ellie Klein, the Crestview libero. And still alive, great effort, couldn't pop it over. Was Natalie Evers, and the point goes to the Knights who you're, cut the lead to yeah, two. Yeah, you're right, Garrett. Great effort by Marion Local right there. Controlled chaos, keeping that ball from hitting the floor, just couldn't get it over in three. Kolicki, a little top spin in a tough spot. Unrast keeps it alive. Ronabom cuts it. Popped up by Crestview. Figley off the block and down for the point, and the lead is down to one. We said she's Crestview's main hitter. Two kills in this first set. 320 on the season now. Which is a giant amount. 320 is a ton of kills. As Grace Moeller tries to climb the ladder, put it to the wood, can't inside the lines, and we are square at six after four straight points by the Knights. Yeah, Figley spends a lot of time in the trainer's room with ice on that shoulder. <laughs> She's swinging away. Kowicki to serve again. Evers back sets Moeller, blocked. Kept alive by the Flyers. They'll roll it over. Lickley, Figley blocked and down. Grace Moeller got all of it right in the middle of that, giving the Flyers the lead. Moeller leads Marion Local in blocks. Give her 62 now on the season. She's serving, puts it in a tough spot. Lickley to Figley, and puts it in the perfect spot for the point. 321 now, ties it up at seven. And we talked about both teams coming off of two match losses. Well, they, they haven't lost to the Sisters of the Pool. No. Uh, for Marion Local, it has been um, Fort Laramie and uh, yeah, St. Henry's Breeden. got both. St. Henry's got Marion Local and Crestview yes. in the last mm -hmm. in the last uh, ten days or so. Or, yep. Uh, and, and Crestview, to their credit, you know, stacks that uh, late night invitational. With it's not the sisters of the poor like you mentioned. Yes. They're trying to get better at that invitational and have a strong lineup. As Rachel Keeter gets the kill. Yes, and Crestview has fallen their last two matches to Belmont and, as you said, St. Henry. So it was tipped. Even things up at eight apiece. And I believe that was Keeter with the yes. kill. Yes. Mm -hmm. So Ava Unrast will serve. Lickley, the back set to Figley. Off the block and down once more. You know she's bringing a lot of velocity because these Marion local blockers, they're used to that with the league that they play in and the opponents that they right. play, but she's blasting through that block right now is Addie Figley. She's surfing now. Unrest, pass up ahead to Evers. Comes to the near side. Eckstein climbs the ladder and gets the kill. Eckstein picks up her first kill in the set. That's 108 on the season for her. She's third for Marion Local in that category. Averages 1.8 kills per set. So we're all square nine. From this near side, Kennedy Kreiner this way. Kept alive by Marion Local. Lickley. Gregory kept alive by Great the play Flyers. by Flyers. Pass to the near side. Gregory swing. Blocked partially. Evers. Quick sets to the near side. That's Brooke Evers. Took a cut at it. Natalie Evers pushes to the near side. Off of Eckstein's shot, and we're in the net. As we said, you're going to see a lot of volleys where both teams are smashing it at each other. That was a perfect example, Garrett. It's big girl volleyball. You better be ready to go when you step on the court tonight. It is 10-9, the lead for Crestview on the Ultimate Outdoor scoreboard. As Lickley, into the back row. Natalie Evers, pass to the near side. Eckstein blocked right back to her. And a lead grows to two for the Knights. Lily Best with the block, her 27th on the season, third for the Lady Knights in blocks. And that will bring Lickley up to serve, the 5'7 junior. Serves as the setter as well for Crestview, does Emily Lickley. Brooke Evers kept alive by Klein in the middle of the floor, popped back up by Marion Local. And they are called for four hits. Yeah, a little contact there. Unrast and Maya Eckstein both going for it. 
And as a result, not enough air under the volleyball. Been a first set of runs here for each side. Marion Local had a 6-2 lead. Cressy charged back to tie it at six. And now the Knights have a 12-9 advantage. It's Figley from behind the 10-foot line. Hit the top of the tape and tipped over in the perfect spot for Marion Local as Natalie Evers puts it to the floor. Nicely done by Evers. Yeah, she's the setter, but she went with the kill right there, her 46th on the season. Brooke Evers now serving. Slightly overpassed on the first attempt for Crescio. And the Flyers have cut the lead to one. Very few unforced errors on yes, either sir. side of the net here in set number one. That's what you want to see down the stretch from your squad if you're Coach Dirksen or Coach Gregory. Both of these teams in the Van Wert district when tournament time rolls around as Figley put too much heat on it. No, there's a flyer in the net. Crestview was calling for a touch. They didn't get that, but as you said, uh, a flyer in the net, so Crestview gets the point. Yeah, this Van Wert district, murderous. Yes. Might be the adjective to describe it. We'll talk a little bit more about it as we go along. In Division Six this year in volleyball, expanding to seven divisions, as Natalie, or I beg your pardon, Grace Moeller let it fly. Maya Eckstein will take some off of it. Great play by Lickley to get it to our teammate. Moeller, another swing, popped back up by the Knights. It's in the rafters. They'll play it out of there. Rolled over and the point by Lily Best. Great communication right there by Addie Figley. As you <clears throat> said, that ball was rolling around in the rafters. Figley, the senior, clearly called it out for everyone in the gym to hear. Mine, mine, mine. She sets bats. They get the kill. Sidewinding serve. Yeah. Woo. And the point to the Knights. Natalie Evers with a great Little roll over the top on two. 14 12 Crestview. And the point, or Maya Eckstein serving, I beg your pardon. Eckstein leads in aces. Received. Lickley. Tipped up and over. A great timing play by Ronabom. Pushed over by Eckstein. And. Crestview was in the net, yes. Get a knight in the net that time, and now the lead's one. x tide serving once more. They get it off the night. They did. It's an ace, and we're tied at 14. Casey Gregory got caught betwixt and between. She thought I better hit it, and then she thought it's going to go out, but by that time, she couldn't play dodgeball. It grazed her, so point for the Flyers. It did fall out of bounds, but it had hit Gregory first. Another ace by x -Tide. That knuckleball right in the middle of the floor. Swung on by Gregory, wide, and the Flyers have the lead. As you said, it's been a, a set of runs. Crestview's got to stop this one right here. In the middle of the set, it's where it really becomes critical. And nearly another ace for x time. It's pushed over by the Knights. Natalie Evers, back set, Grace Moeller. Dug out by the visitors. Tip back over. Evers, Moeller on the swing. Gregory blocked at the net. Klein was able to get under it for just a moment. Couldn't keep it off the floor, and it's a two-point advantage for the home team. Another great block by Grace Moeller. Timeout taken by Cressy. We'll step aside as well. More first set action for you when we return on WOSN. High School Volleyball tonight brought to you by Lonix Jewelry, your family-owned and operated jeweler for over 70 years. Visit them at 1244 South Shannon Street in Van Wert or online at lonix.com. Maya Eckstein serving for the Flyers. A two-point lead here as we approach the ending stages of set number one. Lickley. Yep. There it is. Perfect serve for Lily Best, who got a lot of it right to the wood. 
Best out of the middle. You usually usually see her on the outside. Did a great job right there for Crestview. Much needed point off the short sack. Coming out of the timeout, you always want to get that first yeah. point if you've called the timeout. Crestview does right there. Casey Gregory to serve. Natalie Evers back sets Moeller. Climb the ladder for the kill. Grace Moeller just so impressed with her all the way around. Quick twitch. Gets up in the air, leads the Flyers and kills. She has 195 on the season now. Natalie Evers serving. A big hearty cut from Bass that time from the outside. Pushed it long. Lead now three for the Flyers. Evers to serve once more. Put a little much on it. Knights trying to climb back here in set number one as Josie Kowicki will come back on to serve. Kowicki, one of the seniors on this squad, plays the back row. Natalie Evers, Ronabom takes the cut, kept alive by the Knights. Slam to the floor by Figley. Yeah, nicely done there by Addie Figley. She couldn't sling it with one hand, so she went with the stuff, push, whatever you want to call, <laughs> but she finds the wood. Crestview cuts it to one. It's almost a slam dunk on yeah, the volleyball exactly. floor. Yeah, exactly. Very athletic move right there. Really read the ball well. Made a great play on it. Right up on the receive. Evers. Moeller, a hardy cut. Pushed it wide. And we are tied up at 18. Back and forth, set number one here from the hangar. Yeah, I think we just need to settle in. It might be a five-setter tonight, Garrett. Cole Wicke into the back row. Evers back sets Moeller, kept alive. Lakely tries to find an open spot. Round a bomb. No. Off of Cole Wicke and down. Great diving effort made by Gregory. Couldn't get it. And the Flyers take a one-point advantage. Round a bomb with her second kill of the set. Lickley tried to go over, just too much air on it. She went under over on two, too much air under. Marion Local able to recover, and then Ronnebaum gets a nice kill. Moeller to serve. Cool lick. He receives. Big swing from Figley, dug out by Unrast. Ronnebaum takes some off of it. Popped up in the air. Figley at a tough angle, couldn't get it over. And it's now a two point lead for, for Marion Local. Good effort by Josie Kowicki to keep that one from hitting the floor on the first hit. Does a nice job, but Crestview unable to get the ball over. Two-point lead. First one to 20 are the Flyers. Moeller serve received. Lickley. Figley put it in the perfect corner pocket. Yes, eight ball corner pocket for Figley. That's her fifth kill of the set. I just love that these two teams have gotten together tonight. They haven't played each other since 2020, but I like where this sits up, sets up on the schedule late in the year. It's a great tune-up for the tournament. Sure is. Evers back sets Keeter. Blocked, kept alive, not a bomb. Likely cross-court pass. Figley off the block and down. Make that kill number six for Figley. Average is five and a half, so already over the average, still with five points to play. Somebody's got to get to 25, and then some maybe. Yep, five points to play. You go in increments of five. It's basically 0-0. Zero, zero. First one to five takes set number one. Evers, Ronabon blocked. Unrast is there. Keeter on the other side. Knights ready for it. Lickley tries to push it in the corner. Evers to Brooke Evers. And she's we got a knight in the net. That's a tough situation right there. Got to stay off that net. We've seen both teams in the net a little bit here in set number one. It really didn't have much to do with the play, Garrett. Unrath serving. Lolly popped over. Lickley. Figley, the big swing. Off the block and down. Figley does a real nice job there, setting herself up with proper footwork and then blast it through the block. Coach Dirksen telling her players up there on the blockage, I need you on that wall. I want you on that <laughs> wall. 21 all on the ultimate outdoor scoreboard. Evers tipped over by Brooke Evers. Lickley, cross-court pass. Gregory dug out by the Flyers. Round a bomb to pass. Eckstein takes a cut off the block and down. 
Maya Eckstein, third on the team in kills. And just when you're thinking, okay, we got Moeller covered, we got Ronabon covered, and then Eckstein comes in and she makes you pay. Punched over by the Flyers. Lickley, back set, blocked by Marion Locals. Brooke Evers and Maya Eckstein combined to close that window. A timeout taken by Cressy will step aside as well. Conclusion of set number one coming up for you on WOSN. Tonight's scoreboard brought to you by Ultimate Outdoor. Bring resort-style living to your backyard every day with a luxury outdoor space by Ultimate Outdoor. That Ultimate Outdoor scoreboard reads 23-21. Marion Local trying to cap things off here in set number one. Knights get it over. Natalie Evers tipped over by Maya Eckstein off the palm. Gregory, big swing. Unrast pushes up ahead. Brooke Evers takes some off of it. Joust at the net. Stalemate. Eckstein will roll it over. Gregory takes some off of it. Tipped over and down by Marion Local to force set point. Natalie Evers, the setter, does a nice job. When your setter can get up there above the tape and push it down like that, that makes you very lethal. That is a tough weapon to defend. As Rodabom serves, looking to send us to match num point number two, game number two, set number two. Eckstein to swing. Likely. Gregory. And that ends it. The Marion Local Flyers take a competitive set number one against the Crest Unites. 25-21 the score. And we will head to the second set here on WOSN. Tonight's Marion Local Premier Sponsor is OPAC and Osgood for all of your painting, industrial painting, staining, and assembly needs. Call OPAC. Mentioned both Marion Local and Crestview in Division 6, both in the Van Wert District, and that's going to be an absolute meat grinder come tournament time, Dave. It sure is. Uh, with the exception of New Bremen being in the Wapak District, I would say this is the district in the state of Ohio. You, you're looking at your state champion possibly coming out of it with Coldwater, ranked number one in the Van Wert District. St. Henry ranked number three in the Van Wert District. Marion Local ranked number four. Crestview number seven. Parkway number ten. Five of the nine teams are in the top ten in the state of Ohio in Division Six. And one of them's not going to get to the district. No. Like there's just only four slots. Exactly. Natalie Evers sets Moeller. It's popped back up by the Knights. Rolled over by Figley. Rodabon from behind the 10-foot line, pushed it long, and the Crest Knights have point number one of set number two. So that's what I like about this match tonight. It also helps you with, with how you seed teams a little bit, see yeah. who comes out of this one. The seeding and draw occurs this weekend. Bigly the kill, and this is it's a great opportunity to help your resume. It's a yes. great opportunity to... Start building towards that tournament-like atmosphere when you know you're going to play some very good teams along the trail. Moeller climbs the ladder. It's kept alive by Crestview. Back set, punched over by Best. Flyers are there. Moeller takes a cut, blocked at the net by Haley McCoy, and it's a 3-0 lead for the Knights. Haley McCoy with her 48th block on the season. She leads Crestview in that category. When she's in the middle, she does a really good job of anticipating the ball. Knocks it down there. Evers tries to slam it to the wood. A running play returned by Crestview. Make it 4 nothing visitors. Crestview off to a great start here in set number two. I've been very impressed with Marion Local's defense. You talk about putting the ball in the campfire. They haven't allowed that, and they've nope. covered the corners well as well. Uh, that one, Crestview gets a point on uh, in the previous play and then goes wide there on the serve. But Marion Local's defense in set number one was impeccable. The Flyers get their first point of the set. Maya Eckstein will serve for the home team. Lickley, Figley, 
the big swing and kill. And Crescio grows that lead right back to four. Kill number nine in the match for Figley. The rate she's going, she got 1,000 last week. She may get 2,000 <laughs> tonight. I don't know. You knew where I was going if there, we, yeah, If we get to five sets, <laughs> yeah. who knows? Dug out by Rodemob. Keeter. Lickley tries to dump it in a campfire on Rass there. Keeter again off the block. Kept alive. Ellie Klein the pass. Figley off the block into the rafters. Unrast rolls it over. Lickley takes some off of it, does McCoy. Tipped back over by Moeller. Great rally. It's slammed to the wood by Figley, but it's out. Figley thought it was tipped. Yeah. I Everybody thought it was wearing red thought it was touched. She hit it and then it went out, but. That's Addie Figley as a captain stating her case to our ladder official, Lindsey Tim. And on the floor, we have Connie Steinbrunner. And three no local might have caught a break there. It happens. Yep. you got to play through now. It's a fast-moving sport. Mm -hmm. Lickley. Figley puts her, all of her might into that one. Yeah, you can hear that resounding. Ronabom when she makes contact. <laughs> there is a distinct thud as Ronabom hits the candy cane. And speaking of how fast the sport moves, there was uh, a story in the Daily Standard here from Salina with some Mac volleyball coaches about why volleyball has risen in popularity. And I think it was Diana Kramer from New Bremen that said, there's a point scored every 20 seconds. Like, we we are moving in a TikTok world. The, these kids are, they, they are never bored as the ace from Emily, Ellie Klein makes it 7-2. And she'll try to do it again. Moeller, big, hearty, cut and a kill. Her third kill of the match. I can't agree with uh, what Coach Kramer said anymore. That, I agree. It's fast action, rally scoring. Again, I can remember back in the day when you could only score when you <laughs> serve and you played to 15, but it is. It is exciting, and it's just you come at each other. And the more you watch, the more you understand the game, and you start to see how it's poetry in motion out there. Yes. It's a dance with you and your teammates. And when you're in sync with your teammates. I was teammates, just say the word in sync. You have yes. to be so in sync mm -hmm. with one another. And when you're in sync, then you can be that much more offensive. You don't have to worry about where your teammates are. You can look for the gaps on the other side of the net and look to find the open area. It just, it's its a fabulous sport, and as you said, it is it just continues to gain popularity. The athleticism, the as fast as some of the athletes think, is so insanely impressive, like right there. Yeah! Uh, to slam it to the wood, like Kennedy Kreider did. Oh, they're no, going to call gonna four hits, but I don't think it was. But obviously, it doesn't matter what I think. Looks as if both referees are in agreement that it was four hits. And for as quickly as the players have to think, the referee's got to be right there thinking exactly. this quickly. Let that go through their eyeballs, into their brain, out their <laughs> mouths. That's a, that's a fast uh, decision you got to make. And they'll call it four hits, and the point goes to Marion Local. It's down to a five-point lead for the Knights here in the early stages of set number two. Again, you got to play through it. Got to bring the mental toughness if you're a Lady Knight. Had a couple calls you feel are going against you. Just got to keep digging. Kreider took the cut. Eckstein able to get it over. She and lifted she that. got up, up under the ball. It looked like she lost the ball in the lights is what and that looked like. she stumbled just a hair and yeah. to even get a hand on it is uh -huh. uh, a pretty good feat there. But the lead up to six now at 10-4 on the ultimate outdoor scoreboard. Natalie Evers trying to shrink the lead. Takes a tough carom off the rafters and the lead's back down to five. Round of bomb. Like laying to the back row to Figley, trying to find a spot. That one in the rafters. Moeller plays it. Unrass does as well. Lickley back set. Just a bit miscommunication there. Again, Double contact. Yeah, great play by Ava Unrass. She's in that blue shirt for a reason. Leads this team in digs at 260 coming into today's match. 
on display right there. Great effort. Gets her team the point. Lickley, the pass to Best into the back row. Dug out by the Flyers. Eckstein, from a tough angle, finds the floor. Nice job again. That transition from defense to offense for Marion Loco right there, Garrett. Done effectively. They come away with the point. Radebaum takes some off of it on the lollipop serve. Lickley in the middle. Gregory, the kill. Casey Gregory packs a lot of punch. She reminds me of Morgan Bomber of St. Henry. Not a whole lot of height, but a whole lot of power, a whole lot of punch. At 5'5", five five, the ability to get up over the net like that is an impressive one as Lydia Grace serves for Crestview. Evers blocked at the net, punched back up in the air by Rodebaum. Nobody home for the Flyers as Haley McCoy gets another kill. It's a five-point lead, and Marion Local wants to talk it over. We will as well. More second set action for you coming up on WOSN. Tonight's scoreboard brought to you by Ultimate Outdoor, bringing resort-style living to your backyard every day with a luxury outdoor space by Ultimate Outdoor. 12-7, the advantage for Crestview, serving with that five-point lead on the Ultimate Outdoor scoreboard. Natalie Evers, Maya Eckstein, a big swing. Overpass just a little bit by Crestview, able to handle it. Eckstein, the swing, got it inside the line. I'm not sure what the... Crossview point of contention is in that situation. Of course, we got a little bit better view up here than mm -hmm. that volleyball must have went all the way to the parking lot as Tammy <laughs> Gregory had to run out and grab it. Yeah, if she has a disagreement with the officials on that call, she didn't voice it because she was down <laughs> right. the hallway had to finding the volleyball. Run to Booster Stadium to get the volleyball. <laughs> There's a hardy cut and a kill for Lily Best. Crestview getting mileage out of the junior, the 5'8 junior, Lily Best. She's been an up-and-comer for this Chris Crestview Lady Knight squad this year. On the JV team with a little bit of varsity action last year, she's really stepped up. Casey Gregory to serve, knuckleball. Natalie Evers, Grace Moeller puts it in the perfect spot to trim that lead back to four. And Crestview did not get to the net to even Show a block on that one, Grace Moeller. It was the parting of the Red Sea, and she found the wood on the night side of the net. Next time to serve. Into the back row. Lickley. McCoy blocked, and it rolls off the tape and out of bounds. That's another piece. You know, we talked about a point scored on every play, but just the improvement of the girls in their athleticism. A short set right there, that, that was something you just didn't see back in the day either. And that was very effective. Crespi gets the point before the Marion local defense was set up. Rachel Keeter swing, dug out by the Knights. They'll put it on the wood, grow the lead back out to six. Emily Lickley with the great decision right there as the setter didn't try and bring it back to her hitters too close to the net, just went right over with it. Keeter takes some off of it. Blakely, Figley, just a little long. I bet if you slowed that one down, you would see a lot of whip with Addie's wrist right there. She wasn't on top of the ball and just sailed on her just a little bit. And when you're hitting it as hard as she does, you can't have that error occur. Lead still five. Figley takes some off of it that time, a leaping play by Natalie Evers, pushed over by the Flyers. Great play by Evers. McCoy tries to get it over, can't. And a point to the home team. Trying to cut into the lead. Yeah, you, I love this tenacity put on display by Marion Local right now. You have to beat them, they don't beat themselves. You see the overpass. Grace Muller makes some pay, the kill. I think they might have called someone in the net. I didn't see it either, but the point. Yeah. I would think I, Catherine Dirksen didn't like the call. 
It's all she said was, oh. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Muller tries to rectify it and does. Yes, she does. That's her first, fifth, excuse me, fifth kill of the match. Getting into a bit of a rhythm. Yeah, just started to strike the ball really well. Exactly. That's where I was going to go. That arm whip that Grace Muller brings to the table, it is impressive. Blocked half the net. Lead down to three. Brooke Evers with the block. She's got two in the match thus far. Natalie Evers sends it cross court. Lickley, Figley. Unrast is there. From behind the 10-foot line, Moeller climbs the ladder. It's dug out by Klein. Tough to play off a carom from the Raptors. And a lead down to two. Just a beautiful snapshot from our view. Grace Moeller completely behind the ball and then just whipped through it like a rubber band uncoiling right there. A lot of velocity point for the Flyers. Knuckleball serve. Lickley the pass. Figley punched over. Unrass, pass up ahead to Keeter, blocked, out, and the lead is down to one. I think Coach Tammy Gregory's going to take a timeout. She does with Crestview in the lead, 16 to 15. We'll step aside, more seconds in action for you coming up on WOSN. Tonight's presenting sponsor, Lodix Jewelry, your family-owned and operated jeweler for over 70 years. Visit them at 1244 South Shannon Street in Van Wert or online at Lodix.com. Garrett, we've got two outstanding coaches here at opposite ends a little bit of yeah. their careers. Catherine Dirk Dirksen in her first year. Tammy Gregory, her 19th season, currently 328 and 134. There's some other parallels or similarities to talk about. Let's see how this plays out. Rolled over by Marion Local Leaf, but in diving. Figley blocked, punched it back over as it got sent right back to her. Rodebaum block down the point to Crestview. Kreider with the block. She is second for Crestview with 43, but yeah, Coach Dirksen was on the first state championship team for Marion Local back in 2007. Punched over by Marion Local. Of course, the Flyers had a fantastic run as there's a big time kill for Casey Gregory. You look around the gym here at some of the volleyball. Uh, they had some fantastic teams from 2007 to 2012, 2013. Yes. Won a plethora of state championships. Five. Time and time again under Amy Steininger as Evers finds Keeter off the night and down, and Mary Local right back in it, down two. And Coach Tammy Gregory, she played on the first ever Final Four team for Crestview back in 1991, and then she was the head coach when the Lady Knights made it back to state in 2022. Unrass to surf. Lickley looking for Gregory, tipped over. Miscommunication there by the Flyers. They survive it. Lickley. Big cut from Kreider. She's in the net. And four hits. Four no block. Hit. Yep. Teskew didn't get it over. So they didn't get it over the top of the tape. And it's now a one point advantage for the Knights trying to claw and hang on. Yeah, claw and hang on. That's a great phrase right there. And there's an ace. Unrass puts it in the perfect spot. Works square at 18. Unrest 16th ace on the season. Call and hang on. You got to bring it. Uh, Crest, or Marion Locals just bringing another level of intensity. Crestview's got to match it. Into the back row. Moeller climbs the ladder off the Knights and down. And after leading by as many as six here in this first or the second set, Crestview's seen that lead evaporate. Marion Local now has the advantage. Flyers one set, 125-21. He's unrasked the serve, and another ace for the Marion Local Libero. Knuckleball right there, Ellie Klein, her counterpart for Crestview, unable to serve, receive that one, and pass it up to the setter. Local on a run. Lickley tipped over. 
off of the Flyers and down. And that will stop the momentum as the kill for Kennedy Kreider. Kreider, one of, if not the most improved player on this Lady Night Volleyball squad, having a great year. Goes with the changeup right there. Stems the scoring for Marion Local. Tough serve receive. Evers basically in the ladder for the official. Got it back. As Gregory, a hardy cut off the block and down. And we're tied at 20. Crestview comes right back. Here we are again, 20 to 20. Playing the five now. Marion Local won it in set one. Let's see if Crestview can counter it here in set two. Evers to Natalie Evers. No, but Natalie Evers, I beg your pardon, to Brooke Evers. The point and the kill for Brooke Evers. Brooke and Natalie, both seniors. I think they've worked on that short set a little bit, but there's that <laughs> dance move. Being on the same page, they do it very effectively right there. Put some punch on the volleyball. Got to go chase it down one more time. As we do that, you see the young pups in the student section over there dressed up. Tonight was coming home for Marion Local. Homecoming will be on Friday, but the young men get the spotlight on Monday night. Figley pummels the volleyball. Kept alive by the Flyers. Punched in, kept alive by the Knights. They'll get it over as Ellie Klein got it. And the double contact gives the point to Crestview. Natalie Evers with the air. You're not going to see that very often, Garrett, but she did. She double hit that one, tried to decide whether to go with a high set or a, or a shoot, sort of went in between, and as a result, committed the air. 21 all is Lydia Gray serving. Evers. Eckstein punches the volleyball to the wood to get the Flyers the lead. Great set that time by Natalie Evers. Didn't let that air bother her at all. Brooke Evers on to serve. Lickley. Back sets Gregory, a high one, tucked it just inside the line. We're tied at 22. Casey Gregory with her fifth kill on the night. Couldn't come at a better time if you're a Crestview fan. Casey Gregory serving, lead leader in aces for the visitors. Next time, the swing. Lickley tries to push it into the corner. Flyers are ready for it. Eckstein to swing. Kept alive after hitting the top of the tape. Figley from the far side. Flyers able to get it over just long, however, and it's a lead for Crestview. Another great volley, and again, an area you typically haven't seen that much in this match tonight where Marion Local goes along with a shot. Yeah, no, I, I, you're exactly right. That's a little long on the pass, on the receive. Yeah. Mola climbs the ladder, gets it off a night, and we're square at 23 on the ultimate outdoor scoreboard. Eight kills for Moeller now. Just so impressed with her, her presence out there, and uh, Coach Dirksen's got to be tickled. She's just a junior. Eckstein serving. Just a sophomore. Lickley. Punched over by Best, blocked by Moeller. She'll take another cut at it. Klein the dig. Figley swung on, blocked, out of play. Point Crestview and set point upcoming. Crestview with an opportunity to even this up. One set apiece right here. 24-23. Moeller. Swung on it, got it, and we'll play extras in set two. Grace Muller goes up over the block. The block in the net, just a formality on Crestview's side. Grace Muller skies and eight ball corner pockets it. Figley to receive. She'll punch it over. It's blocked right back to her by Muller, and now it's set point for the home team. Now Crestview's got to respond, and Coach Gregory's going to take her second timeout. We'll keep it here at 25-24. Marion Local 
trailing by as many as six here in this second set. Had climbed all the way back, had faced set point, staved it off, and now they've got the advantage, looking to close out set number two here in a very well-played match here through almost two sets, Steve. You're exactly right, Garrett. And again, I just have been impressed. Crestview's had some runs. They've built some leads, and then you can just see like a vice. Marion Local locks down and says that's not going to happen anymore. And that's what's been on display here, especially in set number two. 25-24. Flyers took set number one, 25-21. Got a win by two. Got a win by two in this series. They haven't played each other since 2020. Crestview has never beaten Marion Local. It's a 7-0 match advantage for the Flyers. Both coming off consecutive losses, trying to change that tonight as Lickley, Figley, a big swing. Unrast is there. Moeller, Ron bomb. The Knights ready for it. Figley, another hardy swing. Unrast got it, but got it into the first row of the bleachers. Oh and we're my. knotted up at 25. Figley with her 10th kill, but I'll tell you what, she's like, Ava Unrast, I'm tired of you. Yeah. Just, I'm hitting at you again and again, and you keep defending it. You're not getting this right. one. Give you everything I got. <laughs> Moeller climbed the ladder, blocked, kept alive. Lickley, punched over by the Knights. Back set by Unrast. Moeller slams it to the wood, and it's a one-point set point advantage for Marion Local. Moeller with the kill. Kennedy Kreider upset with herself, not able to anticipate that and be right there at the net with Moeller. Moeller the serve. Lickley, Figley, blocked, punched back up by Marion Local. Rodemob takes some off of it. Knights are ready. Flyers ready. Klein settles things down just a bit. Figley never got it over. And that will do it for set number two. The Flyers trail by as many as six. Come back, get the win at 27-25. And we will go to set three with the Flyers with two games to none advantage here on WOSN. Tonight's Marion Local Premier Sponsor is OPAC and Osgood for all your industrial painting, staining, and assembly needs. Call OPAC. Flyers took set one 25-21. They have set two at 27-25. As set three about to get underway, I'm Garrett C. Wright, joined alongside with Dave Bowen getting ready for set number three action here where Crestview trying to extend the match a little bit tonight here. Yeah, the intestinal fortitude, uh, the Big syllable words that stand for guts. That's what's <laughs> going to be on display right now for Crestview. Uh, hopefully, uh, Marion Local hasn't broken their will now, down 2-0 going into overtime, 27-25. Again, you're looking at making a statement for this Van Wert district. Crestview has lost to Coldwater 3-0, New Bremen 3-1, St. Henry 2-0. Where do you want to position yourself? Yeah. And uh, Marion Local thinking the exact same thing as they have fallen to New Bremen, Fort Laramie, and St. Henry yet to play Coldwater. Set number three doesn't get off to the start that the Flyers would like. And I believe for the third time tonight, Crestview has the first point of the set. Gregory to serve. Evers, Moeller climbs the ladder, it's blocked. Marion Local gets a block as Figley punched it over and got it in between the lines. Flyers had to play it. Figley, a hardy cut, missed it wide. And we're square at one in set three. Crestview has done an outstanding job of going to number 12, Addie Figley, in this match. Just slides it to the left right there. Lickley, center set to McCoy. Ronabaugh. Back set to best. Got it on the palm of the hand a little bit and gives the lead to the Flyers. You're exactly right. Her footwork just wasn't quite where she wanted it to be, and as a result, the contact point wasn't where it needed to be. It sails long. 
Received by Gregory. And she'll send it over from behind the 10-foot line. Rottenbaum, the swing. Lickley to Figley. Pushed wide. But hit at the Oh, I was going to say, yeah, yep. it just gave the tip signal, so it is. Josie Kowicki comes in to serve for Crestview. Tied at two. Kowicki, 5'5", five, five senior, defensive specialist for the Knights. Moeller takes some off of it at the perfect spot at the perfect time. Finds the wood, and it's a 3-2 lead. You're right. Perfection right there. She's been whamming the ball all yeah. night long. Goes with the changeup right there. And you've got the defense ready for something hard, and they can't recover quickly enough to get that soft stop. Figley from the center. Calling four. And it's now a 4-2 lead for the home team. Bigley again. She took some off of yeah. it. Yeah. And like we mentioned, when you're ready for velocity and you get a change up, that's a hard thing to rectify in your yeah. brain that quickly. It's like a high school baseball team. You're going against a pitching machine, fastball, 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 and, and then you go out there and they throw an old punch and duty curveball throw. And that, <laughs> you know, that, that was me. I had nine different pitches, and none of them was a fastball. <laughs> the fastball wasn't fast enough. <laughs> yeah. And uh, that can make it really tough on the opponent. We've seen both teams that execute that a little bit here in the early going of set three. Beavers, Ronabon, wide open spaces. It's 5-4 Flyers. Ronabon with her fourth kill on the night. Ava Unrass to serve now for Marion Local. Leading two games to none. Lickley. Punched on by Kreider. Kreider the kill. Number four for her on the night. Five to five. So Crestview comes out after that tough second set loss and responds nicely here in the early going. Figley the serve. Evers back to Ranama. Dug out by Figley. From behind the 10 foot line. Just a little too much top spin on it. Pushed it long. I think maybe in the huddle between sets there, Coach Gregory said, hey, we can play all night, ladies. They're calling for fog tomorrow morning anyway. <laughs> let's, let's just rebound here, regroup. Gregory to swing off the block and down for the point. And we are tied at six at the Ultimate Outdoor scoreboard. Just great competition. Both teams are going to get better after tonight's match. Absolutely. Moeller received the serve. Flyers able to get it over. Lickley back to best. Punched up by Moeller. Has to play it out of the ceiling. Rolled over by the Flyers. Lickley swung on. Have to play it out of the ceiling one more time. Whoa. And that's a tough one to handle. <laughs> The ping pong it around. Yeah, the way Marion Local's playing defense tonight, I was not going to say that wasn't going to go over yeah. until it hit the ground. Unras gets a hand off the spike off the ceiling, but they're unable to get it up in the air and get it over. X time. Was able to get it over. It was blocked. Natalie Evers pushes it over. Unrast there with the dive. X time. Off the block. Somebody was in the net. <laughs> I'm glad they didn't call it. It's a great volley. It is. Swung on just too long <laughs> off that corner where the lines intersect. And now, I say we'll call it out. We've got two gentlemen, probably dads, doing a great job on the lines, but the one didn't move at all. It's the uh, ladder <laughs> official. Lindsey Tim looked at him. He just stared at her. <laughs> I don't know. It's down at the other end. Hey, that's, that's a long <laughs> way. Uh. We thank them for helping out. No, absolutely. Couldn't do it without them. Nope. Evers to Eckstein into the back row. After that, off the block, Kreider, another kill. Five kills for Kreider now. Going back and forth. 
Just like to see, I'm just saying, just like to see Crespi win because I'm enjoying this match so much. Yeah, two good volleyball teams. Yeah. You get high quality volleyball. It's, uh -huh. It is fun. Lydia Grace to serve. Sidewinder, Evers, Moeller tipped it into the corner. Lickley, the quick set, climb the ladder. McCoy, I'll oh, call lift. Yep, they're going to say she was not on top of the ball. She was under it. Tough call for Haley McCoy, ties it up at eight. But you know, we talk about a lot of things in our society that are challenging and frustrating. But I'll tell you what, Gary, high school sports, especially what we're witnessing tonight, it is something to behold. Still a lot of fun. Yep. Lickley, the block. Lily Best gave the hardy cut. Flyer said, I don't think so. I believe that was Grace Moeller on that block. She leads Marion Local in blocks. I've got it for three thus far. Now they had somebody in the net. So tough call against the Flyers. Crespi yeah. is going to get the point. Flyers thought they erased the block. Had somebody right in the net. So instead, it's a 9 8 advantage for Crestview. The serve received. Moeller tries to take her frustration out on the volleyball. What a Flyers. recovery yes. by Grace Moeller right there. Have to just settle for getting it over. Figley a hardy cut, and it finds the wood. It finds the wood, and for the first time, she gets one by Ava Unras. Not because Ava couldn't have gotten to it. Ava just thought that was going to go out, let it go, but it was definitely in the corner yeah. pocket. You don't have a lot of time to judge that. No, you don't. And I'm amazed at how the girls make the, the right decision more often than not. Bowler tipped it over. Best at the net. Couldn't time it just right. Cuts the lane back down to one at 10-9. Emily Lickley, the setter for Crestview, tells Lily Best, my bad on that one. You get a stoppage to mop up some condensation on the floor here at the hangar. So, yeah, 7 0 lead in matches for Marion Local. Five of those seven wins have occurred in the Lady Night Invitational. Marion Local was in it for several years right there where they were having a run of state championships. Mm -hmm. They're not in it right now, but athletic director Dan Koenig would like to get them back into that invitational, and hopefully that'll happen. Yeah, just even getting the situation. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> wow. Able oh. to kick it up and over. The block. Oh. Flyers trying to keep it alive. Ronnebaum cuts it over. Figley, the big swing of the kill. That's a big point for Crestview. Emily Lickley, she had the foot action. And you got to give your, your kudos to Sophia Fleck right there. She kept that one alive on Marion Local's side of the net. Leaping and diving from both sides. Keeter the receive. Moeller, the big hardy swing. Knights are there. Figley took some off of it that time. Evers back sets Keeter. Blocked. Keeter's ready for it. Dug out by Klein. Lickley over to Figley. She'll stand and swing. Moeller tries to dump it in a corner. Knights are there. Lickley, Figley. Long. I'll tell you what, Marion Loco has made some adjustments defensively. We've seen them against Ottawa Glandorf on WOSN. We've seen them against New Bremen on WOSN. Both of those squads found the campfires, you like to reference yeah. it, quite a bit throughout the match. Crestview has not been able to find the hole, the middle of that circle defense at all tonight. Yeah, and usually you can get somebody to creep up a little bit. You can punch one into the corners. Yes. Has not really happened for either side all that frequently here this evening. And definitely not in the middle of the floor between the lines. Lickley, Figley off the block. Natalie, or Brooke Evers, I beg your pardon. Figley, again, pushed over, unrasked. Evers, Nat, Brooke Evers, the pancake, Crestview trying to get it over. Takes a tough bounce off the roof. As Ellie Klein at a leaping one-hand punch at it. Probably gets over if the roof is another foot <laughs> higher. Well, that it looked like the offensive line, the back row for Crestview, Gregory, Kowicki, and Klein all on the ground on that one. Yeah, it looked like the Cleveland Browns offensive <laughs> line. <laughs> Lickley to Figley off the block and down. Figley, 14th kill. 
It's 12-11 here in set number three. The Crestview Knights with the advantage. 14th kill, number 14. You dare go there. Major League Baseball. You word on the street. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, we've heard that Pete Rose has passed away. Yes. The swing, the kill for Kennedy Kreider. Number 15, Kennedy Kreider picks up her sixth kill. All the stats, the numbers. The lead out to two. As Marion Local will make a change, as Evers will, or Moeller, I beg your pardon, will come out of the game in exchange for Sophia Fleck. Oh, I beg your pardon. It's a new flyer on the floor. Faith Rodabob on the floor for Marion Local. Fourteen eleven lead for Crestview. Klein stings it just over the top of the tape for the ace. It's almost like if you're Crestview, you don't want to get too far ahead <laughs> because then Marion Local, like we said, puts that right. that mental toughness to, to the test, and they just come roaring back, just sort of long to sleep a little bit here, maybe. Unrast gets it over. Lickley, Figley, the swing off the block and down. And it's now a six point advantage for the Crest Unites. Marion Local wants a timeout. There's a break in the action and a break here on WOSN. High School Volleyball tonight brought to you by Lodix Jewelry, your family-owned and operated jeweler for over 70 years. Visit them at 1244 Shannon Street in Van Wert or online at Lodix.com. Crespi with the 16 to 11 lead. Coach Dirksen calls a timeout. She's called one other timeout when her squad was down 7 to 12 in set two. They came back and responded to that with the set two win. See what happens here now, Garrett. Ronabon pushed it wide. And a lead out to six now for the Knights. It's 17-11. No quit in these Lady Knights. Two tradition-rich programs. Crestview with 22 Northwest Conference championships. Marion Local with 10 MAC championships. Keeter into the back row. Crestview plays it out of the roof one more time. Figley gets it over. Natalie Evers. Thorana Bob climbed the ladder. Popped back up in the air by the Knights. Figley missed just wide. Missed just wide, and again, she has done a lot of swinging tonight. She's got 15 kills. She's probably probably had around 40 total swings. Again, she's going to have to ice down, get the ice bag for on the bus ride home. Unrass the serve. Moeller to Ronabom. Got it just off the top of the tape. Lickley the running pass. Figley off of the side of the block and down and grow the lead back out to six at 18-12. So Mary Local gets the initial point out of the timeout, but Figley with the kill pushes the lead back to six. She'll now serve. Just over the top of the oh. tape. Got it off the top of the dome of yeah. Natalie Evers, who was coming back to, to chase it a little bit. Mm -hmm. Had her back to the net. Usually you can only get that soft serve at Dairy Queen, but Figley <laughs> gets it to go over the tape. Double dipping. Evers to Brooke Evers. Lickley. Figley stands and sends it over. Natalie Evers. Brooke Evers. Off of the crest. She defense and down. Josie Kowicki, she's trying to wait for that to come down because she knew trying to bump that above her shoulders was going to be tough. Couldn't wait any longer, and she did. She, she hit it the wrong way, went off her arms harmlessly out of bounds. Round of bombs. Knuckleball serve. Big cut from Kreider off of the flyer defense and down. Kreider with her seventh kill. Crestview up seven. You would like to think they can finish this one off, but you can never say never here with these Marion Local Lady Flyers. And you mentioned they lock in when the going gets tough. And right there, they watch the ball go out of play as Lickley thought she had an ace. Instead, it's 
just outside the lines. Great decision by Marion Local. Brooke Evers to serve. The senior. Lickley back sets Kreider. Blocked by Axtine. Punched over by the Knights. Quick set, Moeller tipped over. Crestview ready. Figley behind the 10-foot line, off the top of the tape. Unrass the sliding save. The kill by Moeller right in the heart of the net. Grace Moeller with her 12th kill of the night. And again, Figley, when she hits the ball, just seems to find Ava Unrass, as it does right there. She makes the play, makes the play off the tape. Mary Local with the point. Swing from best, dug out by Rodebaum. Into the first row of the bleachers, unplayable. And it's a six-point advantage for the Knights with four to go. Just so important, crucial, whatever word you want to use for Crestview to get some kills from someone other than Addie Figley. And tonight it's been Kreider, Gregory, and Best trying to help out in that department. Grace from the middle of the back line. Moeller climbs the ladder. Tough to play for Figley. And the Flyers shrink the lead to five. Such velocity. I don't even know if Addie Figley saw that one. Grace Moeller hitting it hard. Put some heat on it. Woo! Put a radar gun on that one. X time to surf. Knuckleball. Figley. Best take some off of it. Rodabaugh. Keeter blocked, kept alive by Marion Local. And a pro large double contact. Inches Crestview closer to that 25 total. A timeout taken by Marion Local. We'll step aside as well. More third set action for you coming up on WOSN. Tonight's scoreboard brought to you by Ultimate Outdoor. Bring resort-style living to your backyard every day with a luxury outdoor space by Ultimate Outdoor. Coach Dirksen with that timeout. Her players looking her in the eye. She providing some motivation, and they were responding in the huddle. Let's see if they do it on the floor. Grace Moeller blocked. Hits the antenna. And the point goes to Marion Local. Has it down to five. No more timeouts for, for the Flyers here in this set. Chris, you still with both. Kill number 14 for Grace Moeller. Punched over by Natalie Evers. Giving chase. Got it inside somehow, some way. Great, great play, play yeah. by Best. Yes. Blocked at the net. She makes another one with the left hand. And then the kill from Figley behind the 10-foot line. The kill, she does put it in the campfire right there, but she doesn't do it on three. Yeah. She did it on one right away there. Now Josie Colwicky to serve. Overpass, punch to the floor by Haley McCoy. It's now set point for Crestview at 24-17. Evers backs at Moeller off the block and down, and Cressy will take set number three, 25 17. A nice comeback set victory for Crestview down 2 0. They cut the margin to 2 1, Garrett. Let's see what we get now moving to set number four. We'll head to set number four when we return here on WOSN. High School Volleyball tonight presented by Lotics Jewelry, your family-owned and operated jeweler for over 70 years. Visit them at 1244 South Shannon Street in Van Wert or online at lotics.com. Garrett, different discussions in each huddle between sets. If you're Coach Gregory, you're saying, okay, ladies, uh, we, sh we showed Marion Local that we're here by winning that set. What are we going to do about it now in set four? And Coach Dirksen, uh, let's shut the faucet off and let's bring some Marion local Lady Flyer volleyball from the get-go here in set four. 
Lyax time this swing. Overpassed, and I think for the first time tonight, Marion local flyers score first. Yeah. It, it in the set. Been, it has been Crestview getting the first point every set. I don't think Crestview can afford to let the Flyers get too far away from them at any time in this fourth yeah. set. Klein will get it over. Evers. X time. Climbs the ladder off the block and gets the kill. Back to back kills for Maya X time. Get the feeling early in the set that Marion Local locked in, and you're right. I don't think either side can let the other. Get out to too big of a lead here in this fourth set. Figley, the swing. Evers there. Radabaugh up high. And a double counter, prolonged double contact. Called against the Knights. Great effort there by Gregory trying to pass it up to Lickley. And it's too close to the net. Clay to Figley. X time. Never got it over the tape. And that's the first point of the set for the Crest Unites on the Ultimate Outdoor Scoreboard. X time is third on Marion Local in kills coming into today's match. But she has made her presence known. Obviously, Grace Moeller, the leading. Uh, hitter for Marion Local, but Eckstein's had a really nice match. Also served really well. Moeller put some on it. Great and decision there by Ellie Klein. Just at the last minute to yes. pull the hands. I like to call that you know, dodgeball, inverted dodgeball when it comes <laughs> and hits you and you're trying to get out of the way and you can't. Ellie Klein, great decision. 3-2 to score. Moeller, another swing off the side of the block. Figley. Moeller blocked that one, rolls down the net. Gregory rolls it over. Cross court pass to Exton, over pass, hits the candy cane, and the point goes to Crestview, who's tied things up at three. Well, we're on the teeter totter. We're back to even. Let's see if Crestview can move out ahead. It's punch, counter punch. This is what we thought we'd be seeing all night long, and we have. Moeller up high and down hard. Kill number 15. There's not a whole lot you can do when they get a good set to her, and she wants to swing as hard as she can. Yeah. Again, not the prototypical hitter volleyball no. body, but boy, does she have tremendous arm whip and great hops. Likely. Figley, dug out by Eckstein, joust at the net, kept alive by the Knights. Figley, the big swing, nobody home, finds the wood, it's 4-4. Four -four. Eddie Figley, kill number 17. I'll make that 18, it's getting up into that higher math, Garrett. I'm having a hard time <laughs> figuring it out. 4-4 four, four in set four. Keeter. Kept alive, at the net, popped back over. And the point goes to Crestview after the lift by the Flyers. Klein serving now with the 5-4 lead. Evers to Moeller off the Crestview defense and down. You know, Grace Moeller, the other thing, she can hit it from anywhere. We've seen her on the left side right there. We've seen her on the right side. We've seen her in the middle. We've seen her behind the 10-foot yep. line. Just so versatile as a hitter. Natalie Evers, the ace. And both crowds, when you get that, that ace, that point that maybe the other, yeah. you didn't have to play defense on, it's just huge in this match. Feel the momentum start to shift. Each side trying to get the snowball rolling downhill. As Lickley gets to Figley, blocked once more by Moeller. Centered up by Klein, pushed into the back row. Evers, Moeller, wide. Wide on the kill, but man, Marion Loco so strong and looking to block 
Addie Figley just making it really tough on her, but Crestview, they're going to keep going to their workhorse, and rightly so. And there's an ace for Figley. She's going to Dairy Queen again on that one. <laughs> Another soft serve. Not only is it soft, but it hits the tape. Almost indefensible. Knights lead by one. Stung that one just over the top of the tape. Rodebaum the running swing, long. So a string of hits that have gone out of bounds from Marion Local. Crestview making great decisions defensively. Lead out to two for the visitors here in set number four. Lollipop serve. Keeter able to get it over. It's tipped right back to the Flyers. Moeller a hardy swing and kill. Moeller with the kill, but again, you got to tip your cap to Ava Unrast. And Johnny on the spot on that soft hit. She's right where you need to be. She and Raya Busher for St. Henry, two outstanding liberos that you're going to see. Likely back set. Kreider, the swing. Unrast, the pass to Keeter. Blocked. Back set to Ronnebaum. Klein's ready for it. Out of the rafters, a swing from Gregory off the block and down. Well, he Klein right there says, hey, uh, Mr. Bowen, uh, <laughs> look at me yeah. over here in the blue shirt. I can dig him out as well. She helps her team get the point right there. She has 246 digs coming into tonight's action. 9-8 the lead on the ultimate outdoor scoreboard for Crestview. Now Emily Lickley, she's got to let that one go. She's the setter. She's the quarterback. She put that one in the net. Can't carry what happened. You got to look forward. Got to stay in the now. Unrast. Lickley. Figley behind the 10-foot line. Moeller's there. Tough to handle, however. And another kill for the Knights. And that's a great place to go if you're just a little shaky. I'll set it to number 12. Yep. And give Figley another kill. Got to feel pretty good if you're setting it to number 12 for Crestview, number 14 for Marion Local. Absolutely. Got to like your chances of that, <laughs> finding the wood somewhere. And an ace for Lydia Grace. Natalie Ever, she, she slipped a little bit over there. They like her right front as far as the setting position. That one went left, and she couldn't come back and get it. Nevaeh, Nevaeh Ross in serving for Crestview now. The point to the Flyers. Cuts the lead back to two at 11-9. As Chloe Ronnebaum, the senior, serving. Gregory, big swing. Behind the 10-foot line is Ronnebaum. Klein, the running pass, tipped over by the Knights. Evers, near side, Eckstein blocked, kept alive. Unrast, oh! and a great job by Moore to get it over. Figley wants to end it and does. Haley McCoy gets that one out of the middle. She hit the one before that that Marion Local played so well. A fortuitous bounce there a little bit because Crestview didn't give up on it. A lot of teams would have thought, we're going to get the point right there. Murray, local defense outstanding. Brooke Evers' swing blocked at the net, kept alive. Figley punched back up by Unrast. Moeller, the running swing, well wide. And the lead grows to four for the visitors. In this set, it just seems like the defense we've seen displayed by Marion Local in the first two and a half sets is sort of going to the other side of the net. Crestview playing that Saran Wrap defense right now. And an ace for Casey Gregory, adding to her team lead. Coach Dirksen, she's got to be thinking about a timeout. Not going to use it right here. Crestview up five. 14-9 on the ultimate outdoor scoreboard. Knuckleball. Kept alive by Grace Moeller. That's Lickley. Figley took some off of it. Moeller's there. Evers. X time off the top of the block. Lickley. Figley finds a spot on the floor. It's 15 9 Crestview. 20 kills for Addie Figley. She put that one in the corner pocket. 
Cross court. And look like we want the mop on the floor on the Crestview side. Again, you can say we need to be diverse. We need to share the ball to different hitters. But right now, Addie Bigley, she's saying, I want right. the volleyball. Just like Grace Moeller from Marion Local, the big hitters. Uh, it's their playground. We're just all privileged to be here watching oh, it. Dance with the one who brung you. Mm -hmm. It's a six-point lead for the Knights. Had a lead as high as seven in set number three that they won. Had a lead as high as six in set number two that they dropped in extras. As Lickley back sets best. Trying to get the corner. Flyers are there. X time. Looking for nobody home. Lickley. Figley. Out. Just too fine going down the line there. He's talking to a former volleyball coach this weekend. They said, well, you want to go straight down the line, you got to keep that thumb up when you're hitting it. If you want to go cross court, you bring that thumb down. Likely in the middle as McCoy finds the wood. It's another point for Crestview, and the leads back out to six. Resiliency by Crestview on display, but again, Marion Local, they've been in this position in other sets tonight, down in the middle of it, and then they just dig in and fight. See what happens here. Moeller, the big swing, trying to build some momentum for the home team, gets another tally. 18th kill for Grace tonight. They better make sure the ice machine is full, Garrett. <laughs> both teams, players on both teams going to need it. Next time, just over the tape. Playing it out of the rafters once more. Keeter blocked, punched back up. Can't get it over, are the Knights. And Marion Local gets the point. Now, even though you're ahead, if you're Coach Gregory, you're thinking about, oh, do I need to stop the momentum with yeah. the timeout. See how it plays. Coach Nerkson did not use one. Her team has responded. Both with both timeouts is Figley. Wide open hole on the floor. Gets it back out to five at 17-12 on the ultimate outdoor scoreboard. See if Crestview stays with the soft serve. That's what we've seen them use effectively here in sets three and four. Klein hits it hard. Moeller climbs the ladder. Knights can't chase it down. And the lead's back to four at 17-13. Marion Local trying to claw back in. Yes, they are. Unofficially 19 kills for Grace Moeller. And if I'm aired, if it's incorrect, it's going to be that she has more than 19. <laughs> Bigley behind a 10-foot line. Evers, Ronabom off the top of the tape, never got it over. Chloe Ronabom so affected from the left side, but that time, as you said, doesn't get it above the tape. Five-point lead for the Lady Knights. Figley, knuckleballed. Evers, Moeller takes some off, tried to dump it in the campfire. Knights are there. They'll try to do the same. Flyers ready. Ronabom at the line, blocked at the net by Kreider. Klein pushes it up ahead. Knights get it over. Moeller tries to slam it to the wood. Knights are ready. Tough bounce. And that gives the point to Marion Local at 18-14. What a play both ways, but Casey Gregory diving for that first one. And Kenny Kennedy Kreider had a block at the net, but Marion Local would not be denied. They just kept coming at the Lady Knights. They get the point. Kreider blocked. Gregory took some off of it. Flyers try to get under the ball. Can't. It's 19-14. Crestview here in set number four after winning set number three. Gregory with her eighth kill of the night. We've been hearing the ball bang off of her arm, her wrist, but that time she goes soft. Another knuckleball. Peter up high, off the Knights to the wall. 19-15, Marion Local, one set, one, 
One set two, 27-25. Crestview storms back and takes set three. 25-17, and now in a race to 25, they lead 19-15 here in set four. Rachel Keeter with her fourth kill on the night on that swing. Kreider blocked at the net. And Marion Local shrinking the lead to three. Neither team taking a timeout here in set four. Another block by Brooke Evers. Unrest, the libero. Watches it fall to the floor. The ace, 19-17, Crestview will take a timeout. We've got a break in the action, a break on WOSN. Tonight's Marion Local Premier Sponsor is OPAC and Osgood. For all your industrial painting, standing and assembly needs, call OPAC. Garrett, it's like Ali Frazier, Jeff Gordon, Dale Earnhardt, <laughs> Magic Bird, Michael Jordan, and well, nobody but yep. Michael Jordan. But fourth set, it's it's just survival, mano y mano now. It's do or die time, and the Flyers out of the timeout. Shrink the lead to one. Unrest with another ace right there. Unrest serving again. You can feel momentum. It's on Marion, like Marion local side of the net right now. Lickley. Gregory took some off of it, never got it over. And we're all square on the ultimate outdoor scoreboard. Right idea. It was there. It would have fallen harmlessly to the L on the logo of Marion local. Gregory just doesn't get, over, get it over the tape. Lickley back set. Kreider got it over. Ronabon, the running swing off the block and down. And Marion Local takes a 2019 lead here in set four. Crestview's been effective with some soft hits, some change-ups, if you will. But right there, Chloe Ronabon, she brings the fastball and she scores. Figley behind the 10-foot line. Eckstein up high. Tipped over by the Knights. Eckstein again finds the floor. It's a two-point lead for Marion Local. Coach Gregory, she has another timeout. It's been a big run here by Marion Local. The back half of set number four. Knights have led by as many as six in this set. Knuckleball serve. Lickley, Gregory off the block and down. Casey Gregory picks up her ninth kill in the match. Ray Ross to serve. 5-3 senior. Next time gets the kill. I think Coach Gregory, she may use it. Nope, going to stay yep. with it right now. Just walking towards that official like she might. Play one more point, we'll yeah. see. Huge juncture right now in set number four and in the match as a whole right here. Swing from Crestview, kept alive. Eckstein blocked at the net, popped it back up as it was rejected right to her. Oh, it's outside the antenna. Outside the line, the point to Crestview. I didn't pick that up, but the players on the floor did, as did the line yep, judge. The line judge immediately raised yes. his flag and said, nope, it's outside the lines. So the lead down to one. Moeller behind a 10-foot line. Make it even at 22 here in set four. Did we mention Teeter Totter at the beginning <laughs> of this set? Boy, we are even right now. Best to three points right now. Maybe some free volleyball. Gregory, the ace at the perfect time. It's a one-point lead for the Knights as we close in on the race to 25. Wow. Both teams have been practicing the rope-a-dope at times, but right now it's time to fire on all cylinders. Evers, Eckstein climbs the ladder, ties us back up at 23. Maya Eckstein with the kill. No block at the net for Crestview. She pushes it down just beyond the 10-foot line. 
And now Brooke Evers to serve. Lickley. Figley. Big kill, and it's set point for the visitors. Go with what brought you. That's what Crestview did right there, Garrett. Figley up on the front row again. You want to put your money on where Crestview will go? <laughs> And same way with Marion Local, but Coach Dirksen, she's going to burn the timeout. Yeah, we'll keep it here at 24-23. As Catherine Dirksen let everybody get lined up, almost like freezing the kicker to yes. take, take the timeout. To say, let's talk things over here at set point at 24-23. Again, Marion Local won set one, 25-21, then took set two, 27-25. Crestview dominates set three at 25-17, and now... Here in the race to 25, it's 24-23 Knights looking to push it to set number five. Marion Local trying to storm back and end it in four. It's a Monday night. As we said, both teams played Saturday. You can, you can see where at times mentally you take a little breather in what has happened tonight. When either team has done that, the opponent yeah. has taken Pounced. advantage of it. Absolute time after time, and we've seen it seesaw back and forth here in this set alone. As Marion Local took a lead when we got to the 20s, and now Crestview just needs one more to force set five. Rodabom into the back row. Who are they going to? Figley off the block, down, and we will go to set number five. When we return after this break, you're on WOSN. High School Volleyball tonight on WOSN, presented by Lodix Jewelry, your family-owned and operated jeweler for over 70 years. Visit them at 1244 South Shannon Street in Van Wert. We're online at Lodix.com, pivotal set number five here. Marion Local took the first two, Crestview takes the second two. A more plate of 15 here in set number five, Dave. Set number five, and after set two, when Marion Local went up two to zero, yeah, on paper, you're saying, well, Crestview, they still have a chance, but I just did not sense that that was gonna be the case. Really impressed. I thought it would go five. I just didn't think either team would be up 2-0. Yep. Crestview has come back, and here we go. The first serve off the top of the net. Climb the ladder. Got it inside the line. The kill for Crestview to begin set number five. That's Lily Best, her sixth kill on the night. And, yeah, this has just been a lot of fun. We've mentioned that throughout the match. It's like free dessert on your birthday. And here we are, September 30th, the last day of the month. We might as well just keep digging in. Moeller blocked. Dump back over into campfire. Klein ready for it. Figley pushed it too hard. And we're even at one. When you played a 25 in the first four sets, you get that feeling, that rhythm. You get to set five, and it's 15. Every point is much more important. Oh, it is just that much more personified. It's critical. You got to dig in. One to one here to start. Miscommunication from the Knights leads to a Flyers point. And they lead 2 1 on the ultimate outdoor scoreboard. Both crowds into it. Eckstein sends it away. Best climbs the ladder, evens things up at two on the ultimate outdoor scoreboard. Best gets up in the air, kicks her legs behind her a little bit. She struggled with that cross-court kill throughout the, the match. She's had a lot of great plays, but that one she gets in, that's just what the doctor ordered if you are a Crestview fan. Josie Kowicki to serve the ace, the lead for Crestview. Big ace for Josie Kowicki. That's her 18th on the season. Crestview playing in set number five for the first time since they won a five center over Bluffton in NWC play as Grace Moeller tries to even things up and does. Moeller with another kill. That's number 20 for her. She leads Marion Local with 20. Figley, 22 for Crestview. 
Natalie Evers to serve. Luckily the pass to Figley. Missed. When you're coming out of that middle, you've got a lot of options. You can go left, you can go right, you can go straight back at them down the middle. Bigley decides to go to the right, just cuts it too sharp, falls harmlessly out of bounds. The serve received. Bigley takes some off of it. Flyers leap and diving. Moeller tips it over. Likely, Bigley one more time. Addie's got to grab it here. She's got to find it. Looks like she might be a little tired. I don't know why. <laughs> it's not like we're <laughs> set five. We played extras one time. And she's had Late about, in the season. Yeah, 50 swings tonight. Probably more than that. Lickley, Figley. Got it off of Unrass that time for the kill. Lead shrinks to one at 5-4. Kill number 23 for Addie Figley. She and Grace Muller have put on a display, but you got to tip your caps to Emily Lickley and Natalie Evers. They've done an outstanding job setting the volleyball tonight. Absolutely. As Unrast turns her back towards the net, gets it over. Lickley, Figley, the swing, tied at five. Got to take advantage of Figley while she's on the front row. That's kill number 24. Five set matches. When you win, you love it because you win as a team, and but you stuff the stat sheet. Yeah, just, get, wow. just get kill after kill after kill. As the serve from Klein. Moeller off the crest. You defense and down. It's interesting their techniques. Moeller, she really arches her back and then just brings her whole upper body and with that tremendous arm swing through the volleyball. Figley's more of a straightforward, I'm bringing it right at you. Lickley, Figley took some off of it, and it finds the wood, tied at six. One of the very few times we've seen Crestview be successful putting the ball, ah, not necessarily in the middle of the campfire, but, but some embers over there <laughs> on the left side. Figley's to serve. The ace gives Crestview a 7-6 lead. They have found something with the soft serve in tonight's match. Boy, we could see these two go against each other in the district. Yep, not very far away, another lollipop. Evers, back sets Keeter, took some off of it inside the lines. Evens it up at seven. Keeter's fifth kill on the night. She'll come out of the game now in exchange for Maya Eckstein. Ava and Rast to serve. Lickley tries to dump it in the campfire. And the Knights will take the lead. Great decision by Emily Lickley to go over on two. We've had a rhythm with both teams going with three hits yep. for quite a while. Lickley changes it up there just over the tape. Crestview with the point. 8-7, Crestview the advantage and the serve. Eckstein the swing. And Kress using the net. Both teams have gotten away from that in the first two sets. We saw both teams get in the net quite a bit. Didn't see it in three or four, and that's the first one we've seen in set five. Tied at eight. Ron Abom. What's serve. new? Tied at eight. Lickley, the pass to Kreider. Flyers play it off the ceiling. Looking for Gregory. Took some off, off the block, and now. Right now, Addie Figley in the back row. So Kreider and Gregory doing the work. Crestview with a one point lead and a Vay Raw serving. Grace Moeller in the back row as well. Next time, punches it over with the heel of her hand. Swung on by the Knights. Best got what the a swing, play. and Marion Local gets it back over. Lickley, Gregory blocked, kept alive by the Flyers. Eckstein gets it over the top of the block. Lickley back sets Best, tipped over. Unrast tries to dump it over. It's sent right back to him by McCoy. Haley McCoy with another stuffed block. Time. That's her third on the night. The Lady Knights up 10 to 8. Timeout taken. We'll step aside as well. 10 8. Press you to lead here in set five on WOSN.
tonight's scoreboard brought to you by Ultimate Outdoor, bring resort style living to your backyard every day with a luxury outdoor space by Ultimate Outdoor. It is 10 to 8, Crestview, the lead after winning sets three and four to force set number five. And the race to 15. Coach Dirksen with the timeout. Outstanding timeout. Let's, let's stop the momentum. Let's see if it works. Evers blocked, pushed wide, lead down the one. Nicely done there by Brooke Evers with the kill. She'll serve. And it's always amazing how many times you get that kill and then you go right back to the service line. Again, you look at it in other sports, baseball, you make the big catch. You're coming up the right. bat first uh, yeah. in the next inning. To get that opportunity to keep it rolling. It's Catherine Dirksen trying to motivate her squad to a come from behind win here in set number five. As Evers serves. Lickley, Gregory blocked. Figley behind the 10 foot line and down. The lead back out to two for the red and blue. 26 kills on the night for Figley, and we've seen that from both sides where they had to scramble defensively, and then they come out of it and transition into offense and get a great swing at it. Knuckleball serve from Gregory. Moeller off the top of the tape and down. Try, was, trying to get her going here yeah, at set exactly. number five. That is 22 for Grace Moeller. And from our viewpoint, once that ball went up in the air off the set and I saw number 14 coming to attack it, I'm like, point Mary local. <laughs> <laughs> Next time, received by Klein. Best tried to get it in the corner. Moeller took some off of it. Keeter punched inside the line. Ties it at 11. Done. That was Peter, right? Yes, sir. She did a great job with that one. Only her sixth kill tonight, but all of her kills seems to have been, they've been momentum swingers. Yes. Timely. Yes. Next time to serve. Lickley, Figley, blocked, down, point, Crestview. She didn't look like she was tired on that one because it was a great wall for Marion Local, but she blasts through it. Now Josie Kolwicki to serve for the visitors. Top spin. Moeller climbs the ladder, got it off of Knight Defender, and we're tied at 12 on the Ultimate Outdoor Scoreboard. 23 kills now for Grace Moeller. 27 for Figley. Into the back row. Lakely, Figley took some off of it. Blocked at the net by Moeller. The point to Marion Local. And they now have a one point advantage. Look for Coach Gregory. She's thinking about a timeout here. I think she's waiting for the ball to get in position, yep. and she does. Has two to use. She'll take one. We will as well. We'll come back and have the conclusion of this big-time high school volleyball matchup for you when we return on WOSN. here in set number five. The first time Marion Local is playing a set number five here in 2024. Crestview a bit more experienced in that category. Things have gone their way a couple of different times against Parkway, against Bluffton. Trying to do it here as Figley takes some off of it to tie us up at 13 apiece. Ellie Klein, the libero behind the service line for Crestview. Are we going to get some free volleyball in set five? Why not? Evers, Moeller climbs the ladder, dug out by the Knights. Figley again, blocked down the point to Marion Local. Set point, match point upcoming. And I believe that was Grace Moeller with the block. Yes, sir. 
And she'll serve, looking to win it for the home team. No press here. We'll take a timeout and talk about it, trying to break some momentum and let the Flyers think about it for a moment. So again, Garrett, tonight, both of these teams, it, it has been, you got to bring it tonight, and it has been that way all night long. And we anticipated, but I think this has even exceeded our expectations. And it's been such a tight match throughout the night. 25-21, Marion Local won set one, 27-25 in set two. Crescia won the third, 25-17, in the fourth, 25-23. And now in the first to 15, it's 14 to 13. Marion Local the lead on the ultimate outdoor scoreboard. Flyers serving, trying to end it here. Do have to win by two, even though we're playing to 15. Grace Moeller will serve. You just want, as a casual fan, don't care who wins, you want to see the team that wins earn it with a kill or earn it and not an unforced error on the other side of Absolutely. the net. Absolutely. Moeller, just a junior, serving. Figley in the middle, off the block, and will go to extra points in set number five. Number 29 for Figley. She's going to go to the service line, so she's going to be behind the 10-foot line for Crestview the remainder, probably the remainder of this set. Take some off of it. Evers, Keeter tipped over. Lickley looking for Gregory. Blocked, kept alive by who swung it. Off the block and down for Kennedy Kreider. And it brings up set point and match point for Crestview. Kill number eight for Kreider. And now Coach Dirksen's going to take the T.O., her second of the set. 15-14, Crestview the lead after Marion Local led 13-12. Got a win by two, so it's set point, match point for Crestview with this one-point advantage. We've talked about the teeter-totter here in set four and set five. Crestview's got Marion Local up in the air a little bit, but boy, we've seen it throughout the match from both squads when their back has been against the wall. All they have done is responded, and I wouldn't be surprised if we see that right here from the Lady Flyers. So it's 15-14 on the ultimate outdoor scoreboard. Knights trying to take three consecutive sets after dropping the first two. As Adeline Figley serving. Big night from the hitting position. Now trying to end it here at 15-14. Evers. Radebaum off the block. Lickley. Gregory. Gregory blocked. Down. And we're square at 15. I believe that was Rachel Keeter with the block. I don't have her for many tonight, but boy, that was the biggest one of this match, maybe of Keeter's whole season. Tied at 15 here in set five, and Ava Unrast will serve. Into the back row. Lickley back sets Kreider. X die off the top of the block. Figley with the dig. Lickley, Figley behind the 10 foot line. Unrast is there. X die again off the fingertips. Lickley, Gregory off the block. Flyers keep it alive. Ronabon the cut. Blocked inside the line. Emily Lickley, the setter for Crestview. She gets that one down. That's her 18th block on the season. And where's she going from the block to the service line, Garrett? The 5'7 junior with match point once more. Ronnebaum got it in the corner. Chloe Ronnebaum, her sixth kill of the night. We don't typically see her swinging from the right side. She does right there. And with that one, uh, she's sending a message to Coach Dirksen. Hey, let me hit from over here a little bit. Ronnebaum serving now. Long. And that gives match point to Crestview. Each side has had multiple opportunities to end it. And Crestview has another one right here with Neve Ross serving. That was an adrenaline serve. Ronnebaum just had the big kill. The adrenaline was flowing. She sent it long. Ross. Evers. Eckstein blocked. Unrast is there. Into the back row. 
Ross will pass up ahead. Figley gets it over. Evers. Eckstein again off the block, kept alive, out, <laughs> and we're tied at 17. Eckstein has been so effective, as we've said, from that front left. That's kill number nine for her. But you know what? Addie Figley, she's getting close to being in the front row again. Nobody wants to go home. 17 all on the ultimate outdoor scoreboard. Figley, Gregory. Off the block and down for the point. Crestview, they just do not want to go away. Marion Local just keeps bringing it defensively. And Figley's in the front row. Gregory now serving. Over the top of the tape, Evers. Moeller blocked down, and Crestview gets the come from behind victory. Haley McCoy with the block on the outstanding hitter, Grace Moeller. Grace tried to dig it up. She couldn't do it. What a come from behind victory for these Crestview Lady Knights. It just felt like it was going to be difficult for somebody to score two points back-to-back -back Crestview. Gets it done in the late stages of set number five. They win 19 to 17 in a race to 15. Shows you just how tight this matchup was all night, Dave. All night long, the fans tonight, they definitely got their money's worth and then some. And then you saw the two stars for the respective teams, Grace Moeller and Addie Figley, put on a show. What a match. Man, as we said, we might see this one again, and if we do, I hope WOSN is there. Tournament preview right there for you as both teams in Division VI Fan Work District. Marion Local won set one, 25-21. They take set two, 27-25. And then the Knights storm back, take 25-17, set number three, 25-23 in set number four. And in the pivotal set five, they win 19 to 17 over the Marion local Flyers. That will do it from us here at the hangar. For our entire WOSN crew and Dave Bowen, I'm Garrett Seawright saying so long, and we'll catch you next time here on WOSN.